It's time now for Futures in Focus. Ira Epstein of the Ira Epstein Division of Lynn and Associates is our guest to talk about the sell-off, but also the bid for safe havens. Ira, we're seeing a nice bid for the dollar today. Tell us if this is just one generalized sort of search for safety as we head towards the weekend. No, it's more than that. This is something that's systematic now. And the reason that it is, is the Fed is determined to keep going back to what they determined to be a neutral policy. So we got a December rate hike right in front of us, regardless of the stock market break. That won't sway them. And then they're talking three more rate hikes next year. Of course, the three, that's up for question. The market will look at that. But we're also seeing gold able to go up in this market. And that is a difference with the dollar soaring and the word is soaring against number of currencies. Look at the euro. Look at the British pound. They're all down sharply. The dollar keeps going up. With good GDP, why should the dollar back off much? That becomes the question, other than getting into overbought conditions. We have a proprietary tool called our price counts, and they are calling for moves up as much as 100, 150 points from here, and we won't be surprised to see that at the end game. Well, you mentioned the euro and the yen. I mean, obviously, there's you know, money flowing into the yen as well as, right. you know, people look for safe havens. And the euro is sort of its own beast at this point with the European Central Bank perhaps pushing out until 2020, or at least investors pushing out until 2020, that first interest rate increase. Are we seeing a bit of a divergence here between you know, Europe and the U.S.? Yeah, we're seeing a massive amount. And today we'll only embolden that because consumer spending is so strong. We haven't seen a quarter like this with consumer spending with the trade wars and all in about four years. So as you look at what we're doing there, as we look at Mr. Draghi saying, yes, they're going to stop their QE program, but, and the word is but, they don't know that they'll do anything on interest rates until at least the summer of next year. Well, you've got a Fed going in one direction. You've got the European Central Bank in another direction, and the dollar wins by default.